Hello and a beautiful day, dear Groove Nation. David Lemon here with another Groove Lemonade Q&A. Hopefully you are doing well in this uh, in this lovely day. We are heading over to uh, an extended weekend for some. Um, it's an Eastern period, so some of you may be off work right now and planning to work on your builds, on your stores, on your online online businesses. So in case you do have any questions, feel free to ask them. Today we are doing a Q&A session as we do every Tuesday and Friday. And in case you have any questions, just make sure you include a queue in front of your question that you post here in this live stream. Um, normally we publish uh, this, we announce this uh, Q&A a a couple of days in advance or at least a day in advance but until the until until the complete last minute today i didn't i didn't know if i will be doing it because i was uh i'm suffering from allergies and this is uh this is very common when when spring comes the flowers are blooming and the and the trees and the, and the birds are back um it's basically a time for some people to suffer <laughs> and i'm one of those i get i get very sick sometimes because of that but that's not going to stop us today we are going to be doing these uh, q and a's and while i'm getting in the questions i'm going to also um show some of the things that we deployed recently uh this is not an official announcement we are going to be doing an official announcement um separately in a video it is going to be going out today some of them are going out today and some of them are going out the next week because we are not we are still finalizing some changes but i will show you some of the things that we deployed in groove blog in groove video groove card i will talk about some of the things that are coming uh within the next weeks for a groove member and pages as well so just so that you know that it's not um we are not stalling anything that there's things getting added all the time so that's my intro for today if you have uh if you are watching if you are here just make sure you you jump in and say hi i'm watching i have questions and if you do have questions feel free to post them inside the the q a section because i will be going in there and answering those questions um yeah to start with the some of the things that are already live um i could talk about about groove card groove card is is a platform that it's like its own mini world like it's it has its own users and roles already it has its own payment systems it has its own uh gateways it has its own product fulfillment its own builder and things like that uh, basically GrooveCart on its own has a lot of different functionality that multiple of our platforms um, combined, like GrooveSell and GroovePages and, and, and others uh, need to do. And GrooveCart is doing that all by itself. And sometimes when you're starting out, building out your store or building out anything in GrooveCart, it may be daunting and it may be hard to set everything up at the beginning. So this is why we created we created a nice little uh, intro of how to start with uh, with your groove card. So in case you go to groove card on here, um, and if you enter your admin dashboard, um, you will see some new changes on there. In case you don't see this, you may you may need to do um, a right click, inspect, and then click and hold the reload button in order to empty cache and hard reload. Once you do this make sure you log out okay so close this make sure you you actually log out from groove just by clicking on here and log out and then come back into groove cart you should be able to see those uh changes then but as you as you saw when i opened it earlier um we have now a new um step-by-step -step method that is helping people set things up so starting from the store information uh all the way to the launch of the store where you where you put in your store details the the currency and language settings and shipping settings and taxes and payment settings and things like that <clears throat> so it helps you it helps you guiding guide you through uh the steps needed and it, it also has a nice little progress um 
so that you, that you can see how many of these tasks you already finished. You can set up a domain from here. You can set up email templates uh, that GrooveCard sends to customers. You can set up your store design and things like that. So some of these things are very, uh, very cool. Once you actually have all this set up, then this is what you're going to be seeing normally, like the analytics and the things that actually uh, help you keep track of your store. So this is, this is a very handy way uh, of getting new groove card stores up and running by just following a, a little guide on here. Let me see if I can go into set up payments and then go backwards just to see. I cannot go backwards. I was testing this out yesterday just a little bit just to see how it works, and it works beautifully, and I really like it. Uh, we also increased, uh, we implemented and improved some of these, like for example, these are the payment gateways, and uh, we added on some nice little um, nice little icons or the logos of, the, of these services, so it is more eye-catching. Um, yeah, that's one of the changes that is going to be helping people big time. Um, so in case you are setting up your, your groove card stores and you, you started like building the, the pages and things like that, but you may missed out on some of these things. You will see now this progress, <clears throat> sorry, you'll see this progress and you'll be able to, uh, to track how far along did you come. Um, that's one of the things. Uh, we are also implementing a couple of different things within the builder. Like if you come to the builder, um, as you may see, we had here previously a button that is that was called settings. Those settings were mostly related to to the checkout pages and the cart pages. Now we got rid of it just to have it a little bit more uniform because people were not finding those those settings in here. Uh, they were looking on other places. So in case we go to pages and over here as well, if we open up the, the shopping cart or the checkout pages, um, the actual elements, like if you are setting up something here, the elements got extra settings which uh, which you can manage over here. Like cart expiry timer, for example, was in the settings on here. If we go into the checkout uh, page, if we click on this element itself, it has now settings which were all of these, well, most of these were in the separate settings button in the in the dashboard, and it makes more sense to have them here because it's it's tied into that one particular element. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we had on, if you go to upsell page, if you open up uh, an upsell page, we added on an extra element which helps, and this was requested by users, uh, which helps show the total card uh, price. Like if you just drag it out, uh, people will see actually how much they are buying uh, or how much they need to pay. So in case you want to set this up, you click on this element settings and then you actually type in the text that you want and then you manage the manage the different settings here in the sidebar, which is quite new as well. And it works beautifully. Um, something that will make a lot of people happy. Um, we now have functionality to create design groove card themes. Okay, not only design them, but export them and import them. And so that means that you can now start designing groove card themes to sell to others. Let's say you're a, a groove card uh, professional and then you like to design these pages and things like that. Um, now you can actually make money by selling those templates. Where you find those, if you go into the upper right hand side corner, uh, hamburger menu, and you will see a button that is uh, that says themes. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing uh, visually appealing. It just says the imported themes that you have and also my themes. So in case you don't have any themes, this was just something that I, I was testing out. Uh, you can create one by just clicking on this plus icon. You can name the theme. So what is actually a theme? A theme is all the settings that you have on all of the pages. So if you have a home page design, this will be going in the team. The images that you have, the colors of the button, the texts, uh, basically everything that you have on here is uh, is going into the team. Category page setups, product page setups, shopping cart setups, checkouts, things like that. You can set this up 
uh, all of these pages and you can also create new pages like extra pages to provide for yourself or for your customers that will buy these like different variations of the home page uh, you can just click over here and then create these new pages so all of this is going into the um into the theme so if you click the themes button over here in the upper right hand side corner uh click my themes plus icon and then you can create a theme from your current setup within the builder uh, once you save the theme you can also rename it um uh, load it delete it save in existing theme or download the team if you actually download the team it gives you a json file which uh which is nothing fancy it's just a it's just a, a, a type of files uh, that you can export and then uh, upload somewhere else where you want to sell these themes. So that's basically it. It's it's pretty fancy and and I love this one. I'm I'm I can assure uh, I can assure everybody that I will be diving in and creating some of these themes for myself and maybe for uh, for sale later on. So yes, uh, well let's just have a look. Um, we are also working on billing options. So whenever somebody is on a free account and goes in to create a, a Groove Card store, we will we will have the store commission. Basically, each and every sale uh, that you make through Groove Card will, I believe, it's a percentage will be taken, and then that kind of a billing will need to be set up in this. In the setup process um, at this moment i didn't see it implemented yet but this is coming within the next couple of days and uh, we are going to be adding on stock management options into the products so this is going coming in the next couple of days as well it's not on here yet but um it's a very very requested feature and and uh now we are finalizing it right now um once you go in to add a product you can actually type in how many products you want let's just double check if we have it right now um okay. still let's just click on this category okay so over here i believe it will be coming to the variance options um but we i don't see it i don't see any changes yet here so we will we will be having uh, this uh, we will have quantities where where you can manage like how many products exactly you have from this and then when you when you uh, don't have any more of those products then it will show uh, show that nicely on the on the product page so at this moment we still don't have that but with, within a couple of days we'll have that online so yeah, big changes to GrooveCart. I really like some of these because it's going to help a lot for for new users to get on board and start using GrooveCart as a as a full on platform. So uh, yeah, there's that. Let me just go in and answer some some of your questions that you were asking, and um, I can just later on show you some of the other things that we were working on. Hi, David. Um, I have a domain at Namecheap and set the DNS. In Groove, I added a domain which shows status as active and published my site, but when I try to load the site in a browser, I get 520 error uh, saying web service is returning an unknown error. What I'm doing wrong? Um, I don't know. I don't know what platform you're trying to publish um, Publish my site. I guess it is from Groove pages. Um so this would need to be looked into. I don't know what the DNS records are and how it is set up. Um, if you are following some of my trainings that I, I created, some of the videos that I created on how to set up the, the domains, in there I showed that uh, when you when you bring over a domain that was already somewhere else, there may be uh, some DNS records that you may need to delete. So in case you're not confident in, in um, deleting certain DNS records like C names or A names or things like that, which I completely understand, um, my suggestion is to to create a screenshot of your of your DNS records, and I'll show you immediately what these uh, what the DNS records are. Um, so in case you you go into your account and then domains, if you you're saying that you have it like this. So it's showing status active. You click on the edit and create a screenshot of these records over here. So create a screenshot of this one and uh, share it in the group or, or go to the support so that the support can assist you as well with this one. Um, if it is giving 502 error, that may be because of some um, some DNS records that are just, just not working together. So um, 
yeah, that's something that I would suggest you to do because otherwise we cannot really help you without knowing what is happening in the background. But once you connected your domain to Groove right now, we have the access to look into it. So if you reach out to support, they can actually go in there and see what may be causing those issues. So um, yeah, if you don't feel confident in managing that yourself, there is help that you can get. Just reach out to support. Okay, uh, Tamiris is asking a question. I'm trying to access my help desk, but it's telling me that I'm, my MX records are different and I have to remove. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is for. I'm access my help desk. Help desk in Groove Cart. Uh, help desk in what kind, what platform or, or where? where is that? Um, he continues, uh, my current records, do I have to remove all of the ones that are already there? I don't know. I'm not sure what this is related to. When you're working with GrooveCart and then you're working with a help desk in GrooveCart, you get one um, one email that is going to be connected to, to your domain. It's going to be support at your domain .com. Um, So in case you already set up something similar, within another platform they may be there may be um uh, there may be some collision of of these different records and different things so that um groove card creates one for you but you already set up one on your end um it may be that the software doesn't know where to send uh send the emails to so that is why it needs some attention but uh, on that topic as well please reach out to the support team in groove pages when moving through the different responsive devices the blocks and elements move a lot and sometimes <clears throat> sorry sometimes are a mess how can i move them and organic organize them i don't know what do you mean by move a lot um so the spacing and sizing is what actually causes things to move on the page in case you you move the things using drag handle uh drag handles that is going to be changing only on one this device because that is that is managing the the spacing uh, options and also sizing options in case you're you're actually resizing things um i don't know what you mean by moving a lot moving on the page um if you explain that a little bit then i i may be able to assist um, hey, David, I do print on demand on Amazon, Redbubble, Teespring, T Public, Spreadshirt, and more with many different products and would like to do it all in GrooveCart store, but my GrooveCart only have Printful. Will there be more uh, print on demand partners coming to GrooveCart anytime soon? Um, yes. So we are working on um, on creating an, an open API that will allow... Uh, so at this moment, everything that we integrate with is needs to be developed from the from our side, from the actual side of the uh, GrooveCart team. Um, what we're working on is is making this API public, so companies like whatever you just mentioned, all of those uh, can go out and request integration with with us, but so that they do it on their side. Like they will be able to integrate, but they will do the technicalities and the development things on their side. Uh, this is how major companies do it. But as we are still at the start, we didn't have, or we don't have this API uh, public yet. We are working on that and it will be made available probably somewhere around summer or by the end of this, this year's summer. Um, we plan to have that out not only for GrooveCard, but also for the other apps. So this will allow companies like uh, payment gateway systems and uh, and different integrations like email email services and marketing, whatever, uh, to connect with our uh, our platforms and and build on build connections to our software. At this moment, we are looking into different uh, integrations. I know that ShipStation is being worked on and, and some other integrations for uh, for print-on-demand. I do not know, though, which ones exactly um, because these, these integrations are more like partnerships on our end because... Uh, we need to contact the, com the the company to to arrange uh, 
uh, communication between the software and also uh, some price decreases and things like that. So um, at this moment, it is more like a partnership with each and every company that we integrate with. But at the later point, it will be more of an open platform so that everybody can connect. Um, I tried connecting GrooveFunnels and get response following the video, but uh, videos, but name and email address from the opt-in are not going into my get response list. Is there a known bug between GrooveFunnels and get response? Um, I don't know of one. I don't know if there is. Uh, if there is one, I I tested get response but integration. It was working beautifully, but that was a couple of months ago. Uh, since then, I didn't. I don't think that there was any change to it. So uh, let me just double check quickly. Um, I'll double check just just a moment. Um, but reach out to support if you're if you're getting some some errors or issues um, that may be checked like the support can check this one and then can tell you exactly what could be the issue if there is an issue if they found an issue that they will be able to um to communicate communicate with developers to get that fixed at this moment um let me just sorry let me just see um There was one uh, one change a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was in February 16th, uh, which was after submission of GAF response form, subscription fails, shows validation error, uh, even though the form is validated. So there was an issue where, where you actually put in the, the details in the form, um, you typed in the details in the name and the email form field, and it showed an error message, but the actual details were added to the get response integration. So that's the only one that I can see on here. There are no other open cards at all for get response. So um, I suggest checking with the with the support in in order to to have this checked on your on your uh, end. Uh, at this moment, I don't see any issues uh, being reported from the from, for the devs. Uh, okay, Tamiris is saying it's happening a lot uh, that my page looks one way on GrooveCard Builder, but another way on the live website. I don't know how to f uh, fix it when that happens. How can I keep that from happening? Um, I don't know. I don't know, Tamiris, what exactly happens. So in case you could, um, head over to feedback, feedback.groovefunnels.com, and here we have GrooveCard bugs. Go into GrooveCard bugs and open a, a bug report over here. But please, if you could include a video that shows exactly what the issue is what is changing how it is different and what you did what are the settings that you did so that it actually shows up one way in the builder and the other way in the actual live site um if you open a bug report then i can i can look into it myself it is if it is an issue with with some usability then i can point you to the right direction if it is an actual dev Thing, then I can just from here just push it to the dev so they can start working on that immediately. So I would appreciate in case you could do that uh, just with a video, just so that we can see what exactly happens. Um, is it possible to change a color of the button that says checkout on the card page? Um, that's a great question. I know that we were doing some changes. I don't know. I didn't hear that we did that uh, that change. Um, I'll need to look into it. At this moment, I don't have a yes or no answer for this, unfortunately. Um, I know that we have the flow, uh, the, the new cart option. Let me just show you here. So if you are in GrooveCart, if you hover over the header, we have the edit float cart option. And here we have this uh, proceed to checkout button, and you can see you can change the, the color of it. You can also change this one. Um, that's not the same color. Here we go. So you can change this one, but I don't know the, the other green 
color that shows up. So in case you save this and you add something to the to the cart uh, now just on the on the store that this is what's going to show. Let's just double check. Okay, let's get this one. Okay, so here you can change that one. But as you can see now, we have this proceed to checkout, which is in pink. So if this is what you are asking for, then we have that um, option. There was another one, which I don't know where that is. There was another green button that was not allowing uh, changes, but but now you saw how I did it. So basically, if you if you come onto your if you're on your home page and you click over here to the to the header and click to edit float cart, then you can manage these colors. Uh, hopefully, that will help you. Uh, how about changing the color of the write a review button? Write a review button is an element. So if we go into the elements, content testimonials, I believe testimonials is the one. Oh no, not testimonials. Is it? Not quite sure. Um, items. I oh, know these are these are the slides. This is not the not the one. Uh, I believe this is the reviews. It is going to be on the product page. Um, let's just double check. So here, write the review. Okay, I see what you mean. I don't think there is a way for for to manage this one text color. I don't think so, but that's that's something that you can also add on here as a feature request. So if you go into to, to GrooveCard feature requests, then you can add that on here as well. Um, at this moment, I don't think that there is, but it's very handy. So let's just uh, let's just request it so that it gets on the list for our devs. Um, how can I center the the blocks and elements in the middle of the page so that centering things on the on the canvas i believe you're talking about groove pages i'll show you here um this is done on the container level so you have the block which is um uh, which is let's just say this gray part over here but in case you want to center something, this is done on the container level. So in each and every one of the blocks, there is going to be a container, as you can you cannot see it from the from this bar. But here at the bottom of the page, you can see that there is a block, and on the block there is a container. So um, for example, on this part, there is the the white part is the block, and then there is a container which holds the the rest of the elements. So Whenever you are in a container, you can click this pencil icon, and in the in the layout options there, you will see different uh, options to to manage the the centering and the alignment options of the of the content. So let me just delete this one and just uh, pull in an empty an empty block like this, and then we'll we'll put a I don't know, button on it. So now we have in this, we have a button which is in the container, which the container is on the block. Okay, so this is the block. If we go uh, one, one uh, element inside, then this is the container. So if we selected the container here, let's just make it a bit taller. So in the height, let's just make it this tall. Okay, and now in the in the layout, we can manage where we want it to be. So if we put it vertically in the center, then now everything is in the center. If we want, we can put it also in the middle or on the bottom or to the top or to the left or to the right and the things like that. So we can manage the, the positioning of the actual uh, of the actual bottom on that on that section i do not know why i have this layout okay doesn't matter so 
um, that's done in the layout, but on the container, in case you actually click on the button in the layout options, you will not see the positioning because the container is the one that decides where the content is. So hopefully this explains that. Okay, so um, at this moment, I don't see any other questions, but in case you have any questions, uh, just feel free to post them into the live stream over here. Um, I will just mention some of the things that we are working on for um, let's just go into Groove Blog. Groove Blog is uh, is has gotten some updates as well. In the last um, in the last deployment, we added on some some functionality to Groove Blog, which is minor. Like at this moment, we uh, let me just open up the group blog. Here we go. So we added on blog cloning functionality. So in case you go and click on these three dots, we now have an option to clone a blog, which you cannot see. Uh, but here, when you when you click the clone blog button, this allows you to actually have a carbon copy, just like everything will be the same, just on a new version of the blog. So you click clone. It immediately adds on the name, which is the name of the previous previous version of the original version of the blog, and then dash clone. But it allows you to actually manage this uh, this name for yourself. You can decide the subdomain, and once you actually decide it, then it will you click done, and it will create immediately the clone of the blog. If you have ten posts, all the ten posts will be will be copied over. In case you had the ten posts live, those Posts will also also be pushed live and things like that. All the tracking pixels, the the ads that you have, all of that will be copied over as well. So that's one of the things. We added also a clickable permalink. If you are going into your posts and, for example, on here, you we now created a post, and if you click on this little cogwheel, you can see now this clickable permalink on here, so that. Um, that you can immediately go and, and see the actual post on a live version of your site. Um, what else? This is this is actually pretty cool. We're also allowing um, back post dates. So in case you you're importing over your your blog posts uh, and you want to set up a publish date to be in the past. So in case you want to make it like December in the 2020, but let's just say first of December 2020 at, I don't know, at 16, at 4 p.m., uh, then you can you can have that. And once you click Publish, it, was, it, it will change the date to be in the past that you actually published this blog post in the past, which is, which is very handy if you actually want to bring over your blogs from a previous platform. Uh, what else? Yeah, we have the pre-populating of the metadata open graph settings. So if we open this up, you can see that the title on the open graph and the edit metadata is the same as the title of the post. It allows you to change this further in case you want to change it to a different, uh, to something something else. But um, by default, we actually copy these details over. In case you would like to um, to manage, for example, this title over here is just a um, just a slug. So it it populates the slug of the of the blog post, and if you would like to populate the description, for example, this is done in the excerpt. So let's just type in this is the excerpt of my blog post. So as you can see, while I was typing it here in the excerpt area, it was also uh, auto populating in the metadata and also here in the open graph settings so that you don't have to write everything twice. Uh, if you want to change it, you can freely do it here. Like this is my open graph um, description, but it does not change this one or it does not change this one so you can further modify it same thing happens with the og image the og image you can uh choose your own custom one or in case you don't choose one then it will be pre-populated with uh, featured image settings so let me just choose some colorful image like this one 
And I set this image up as a featured uh, as a featured image, but in case you uh, you didn't like, let's just publish it. In case you don't want to have uh, have a custom um, OG image set up, then the OG image will be this one that you selected for the featured image. But in case you want to have a custom one, that you can also select a custom one. For example, um, I don't know. Let's just use this office buildings here so this is going to be the og image or the social share open graph image or and then the, the featured image will still this still be the same that we decided so that's uh, like a pre-population of the metadata and open graph settings it's going to save uh, you some time when editing your blog and we also added on when you were creating a when you were creating a new post um, you just wanted to publish it and just hitting the publish button without entering a title got you in a, in a, in a like a, in a loop, a never ending loop of just loading screen, which was not, not going anywhere. And we added on a little uh, note that the title is required. So once you do this, then you can publish it and then it is published. So that, these are the changes for Grooveblog. Minor changes. Uh, we are also coming up with uh, Ability to hide the block, uh, the 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 date, the the post, the scheduling, or the or the publishing date on the on the blog, so it doesn't show. Also, um, uh, management of how many posts you would like to uh, show on the home page. Um, what else? There is a couple of other tweaks that are going to come in the next week's deployment. Cool. Let's just answer some of your questions on here. So. Um, there we go. Do any Groove payment gateways work with merchants in South Africa? South Africa, I believe they do. Let me just double check. Um, I'm just going to double check quickly if Groove Pay works in South Africa. I believe it does. Not 100% sure, but I'll double check for you. Um, doesn't um, so group pay doesn't have in south africa um in if you are if you're using groove cart groove cart has um has two checkout which has like 200 and something payment uh or countries that it covers uh, almost 300 countries that it covers so at groove cart you will be set with uh with um with the actual uh, two checkout um, payment gateway. In case you're using Groove Self, for example, I, you would need to look into it. There is like NMI authorized.net. Authorized.net may be one that is actually available in, in South Africa. Um, um, Stripe does not, but I'm pretty sure PayPal does. If PayPal does, then Braintree will as well. And that is also available within the the groove cell payment gateway so have a look and just do some digging in and just type in uh, the names just google these these names of the payment gateways available in these different platforms and uh, and just googling uh, will show you if they if those uh, countries are covered uh ron hey ron it's good to have you here um hey david what's the best way to put a document that the visitor can download on your page so um there will be a a deployment next week for for groove pages which is also going to fix things in groove member at this moment when you upload a file i'm going to show you in here if you um let's just use this if you go into groove member in just a second People want to print whenever I'm on live. Um, okay, so whenever you you upload a file uh, in Groove Member, so you can go to Groove Member Content Files and then upload a file from here. Whenever you did this, you have the option to copy the URL. Okay, copy the URL, and then whenever you are in your um, in your site or, or page or whatever you're editing, then you can just link that URL to a button. So I'll just choose a button over here, go to configure and link it to a URL where I paste the URL from Groove member and then clicking the update, that is it. We're going to get the link to files over here 
in uh, in Groove Pages, which is going to allow you to to link directly to their files, and that is also going to get fixed in Groove Members. There is a link to files in Groove Member, but there is a a, a connection a link that is that is not working properly. So at this moment, I I just suggest copying the the URL and pasting it to a button or a link or or whatever you were like. Uh, so that's the way to do it. If you want to do this, also not hosting the files on Groove, you can do that as well just by pasting in the link from, I don't know, Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever you plan to use. Um, okay, so. Um, can I assume it's okay to point one of my main domain names to my new Groove member domain? So group member does not have custom domains yet. That is going to come within the next two weeks. Um, at this moment, you cannot connect a custom domain to group member. Um, you can connect a custom domain to group pages for your websites, funnels, um, landing pages, and so. You can connect it to group blog for your for your blogs. You can connect it to group cart for your website for your web store, e-commerce store and Groove Cell for your tracking links or your checkout pages. So that's that's what you can connect right now. You cannot connect it yet to Groove Member. Um, is there a way to import a WordPress website into Groove Pages? Um, there is, but it is not working very, very well. Um, at this moment, I would just suggest you to rebuild manually. Otherwise, you're going to, you're going to be doing double double work at this moment we have a url importer but it needs heavy development still uh, it was made kind of good for static html html websites but anything dynamic which wordpress is dynamic um builder it is just it is just not importing the elements pretty well so at this moment um i would the only suggestion that i can give you is just to rebuild manually how would you import blog posts from a WordPress site? You cannot import them, but you can uh, like redo them in Groove Blog. There is no importer for blog posts. Um, and, and most of the platforms actually don't give you an importer. WordPress, in case you're moving from a WordPress to another WordPress um, blog, they give you an importer. But if you're moving from, I don't know, Wix to WordPress, they, they will not give you. They don't, Usually these kind of technologies don't have these importers. Uh, so manual work is is needed on there. Most of the times it's just easy copy paste, but it depends on the platform. Hi David, is it possible to switch off options option to allow watching video in YouTube channel when we have posted video in membership area, as it could cause distractions? Is it possible to switch off option to allow watching video in YouTube channel when we have posted video in membership area? Um, I don't really understand if you mean like if you can turn off like branding and the related video section. Um, there are platforms that allow you this, but uh, but that goes against the terms of service of uh, of YouTube. So we are not allowing like turning off the branding and turning off the related videos. But in case you have. For example, you can use this to your advantage. If you set up your videos in a playlist on YouTube and make the videos unlisted so that they are not searchable by everybody in the world, uh, you make the videos unlisted and you put them in a playlist. The playlist will immediately show related, the actual video that the, the users are watching in your Groove member area will show as a related video the next video that uh, that is coming in the in your membership so create playlists and and share the video uh, links from the playlist over to your uh, to your group member that will allow you to have nice little nice flow of of videos uh, that come one after the other but uh, like uh, removing the branding or or like canceling out anything that is YouTube related we cannot do that because that goes against the, the terms of service Hello, David. My uh, my question: How can I delete added payment gateways from Groovesell? Uh, you can't. That is not uh, an option. 
um, there will be a soft delete option or an edit option later on. That's not just something that we want to do because let's just say you connected your payment gateway with GrooveSell and uh, a transaction was made using that. The transaction is connected to reporting and maybe automation and maybe an integration and maybe um, a Groove member and the other platforms. And just removing a payment gateway would cause all of these reporting, all of these connections to be to just not work anymore and to show errors and it would cause a lot of uh lot of issues in the system so at this moment we don't allow uh removing of these payment gateways we will although um uh, this is very very frequently requested um, i talked with the devs and we will have options uh, to remove uh, the the payment gateways that were uh that were not used for from like they were not used at all from the beginning of when you connected it to to groove you will be able to remove those uh but that's just a little bit in the future at this moment there are no options to remove payment gateways uh kieran um hi david is there a way to import pages from click funnels there is and we actually made it work beautifully however click funnels is blocking us still and the, the importer is like it, they are literally blocking us with uh, some ddos protection um our dev team did work around which worked for a day but then click funnels uh, updated their own protections as well and they just don't want you to go anywhere so at this moment um the importer that we developed is still needs to to be updated to find ways for uh, for users like you to bring over their uh their pages but at this moment unfortunately it is not possible i'm struggling to make uh make, i'm struggling to making membership funnel in groove member but when i add 35 pages then groove member automatically makes hundreds of copies of all pages that i cannot delete duplicate pages why uh tabish this looks like something that the dev team would need to look into if that should not supposed to happen i don't know how you made it to work like we have our own um uh we have our own membership platforms like for example in the fast start uh marketing lab this is the the membership uh, page membership training that that we created for the uh, for the people that got the Groove magazine, we have quite a lot of of posts and categories and subcategories over here. We never had any issues with this. So if you go into each and every one of these, all of these are are categories which have more and more and more, and it just never ends. Like there is super 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 many uh, of these posts, and and we never had any issues with duplication. So what you're experiencing is uh, is something that should definitely need need to be checked by the devs. Uh, so please record a full on detailed video, as detailed as you can, on what happens when you do this and where did you find it and and when did this occur. And make sure you you record your your membership ID in the address bar and uh, and just provide as many information as you can to our to our support team so that they can look into it. Otherwise. Um, I don't have a solution at this moment for that one because this is it this may be a bug this may be an error this may be caused due to some extra code uh, but I, i'm just confused if if how how that would make hundreds of pages of copies of pages that you cannot delete so i, uh, I don't know definitely reach out to the support make as as detailed uh, video and explain the situation show your uh, membership id um and once you open a ticket, then they will be able to assist. Is there a way to offer the option to pay in installments? Are you guys planning to integrate Afterpay or Sezzle in the future? I believe you're talking to Groove about GrooveCart. Um, in installments like Sezzle at this moment, we don't have. I'm pretty confident that we were thinking about doing installment payments uh, like in a built-in solution, but not through Sezzle or Afterpay. But if you would like to see something like that, head over to the feedback portal and request on those feature, request those features, or upvote those features. Um, the more upvotes it has, the sooner it could get done. Can you have sliders in GrooveCart? Uh, yes, you can have sliders in GrooveCart. Do you have the exact date of when we can start using email? Um, it is on the 
on the infographic page. So in case you go to groovefunnels.com forward slash infographic, and we are confident in this date in these dates. Um, so Groove may really re-release May 1st and then uh, June 15th list imports. So that is the exact date. If you if there are any changes, which I don't believe there will be for the re-release, um, then they will be showing up over here on this page. So groovefunnels.com forward slash infographic. But I talked with our devs and they are super confident about this one. We were um, we were removed from these spam lists and we put in some security measures that uh, that will make sure that uh, that those that want to spam will not be able to spam for very long. Um, hint, hint, they would probably be caught and banned. Um, but for those of you that want to do good and want to use mail uh, productively and in a good way, um, you will be getting the best servers possible. We invested a lot of money into extra servers, into extra IPs and extra different things. Um, which will make GrooveMail a kick-ass platform and the best one out there. So um, we added on like a lot of extra functionalities, like uh, unsubscribe pages and and um, filtering and extra categorization and Twilio, the SMS um, like ability to send SMS notifications, and we are adding. Um, Zapier and things like that. So uh, it's going to be connected to GroovePage. So once GrooveMail comes back, it's going to be more powerful than ever. And I'm just super stoked to see how it, how it looks like once it's finalized. Um, when it is re-released, there will be still a lot of functionality that we will need to add on. Um, but as it, as it is, as it will be, it is going to be super powerful already. Um, I set up a domain for tracking hosted by Groove. Is there a way to redirect the main domain only to squeeze page and still get the normal use of the other links? Like example, uh, mytrackdomain.com, redirect to mysite.com and mytrackdomain.com, whatever. And that still works as normal. I set up a domain for tracking hosted by Groove. Is there a way to redirect to the domain only to us to the main domain only to a squeeze page and still get the normal use of the other links? Uh, no. So you're trying to you're trying to basically connect two domains to one site, and when somebody loads in that mytrackdomain.com to actually open up that site. So you're trying to use two domains on, on one site, if I understand correctly from what you're mentioning over here. Um, you can't. When you set up a tracking link or tracking domain, um, that is going to allow you to, to do redirects, custom uh, domains with redirects. So whenever you have a mytrackdomain.com and you, you forward it to your main domain.com, it's just going to uh, it's just going to 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 use as a as a switch. Basically, somebody types in mytrackdomain.com and they will be redirected to that maindomain.com, which maindomain.com will show in the address bar as well. It is not going to show mytrackdomain.com in the address bar. It's just like a a, a, a link a link shortener link redirect um, that you use the, the tracking links for. It's not the actual domain where you host the content on. So hopefully that helps. Do you have the, do you have to have the same, do you have to have a subdomain or a domain to use GrooveCell? You can use it whatever, if you want, you can use a custom domain or a, or a subdomain that you use somewhere. Sebastian is here. Um, hey, David, in Groove video, when I add a lower third overlay, text overlay, some of the text and the button is covered by the controls, process bar, play button, etc. When hovering, is there a way to avoid this? I guess I understand what you're saying. Um, um, that's a great question. So um, it depends on the screen where it is. Like it, if, if you're previewing the video on a big screen, the little play bar will probably not do that much um, 
uh, like it will not cover that much. But when you're previewing on a small screen, the 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 call to action button and the text is much smaller. So we'll need to add on some some extra functionality in there. At this moment, the only thing I could um, could suggest you is just to put in a feature request, uh, which then we can uh, we can drop into our devs like. Um, just request it on the feedback portal, uh, like uh, the play, like uh, the control, the control bar to not cover the text overlay or something like that. Um, it's a handy feature what you're mentioning. Uh, at this moment, we we were working on um, on making the, the the color changes and optimizations for Groove Video, and we didn't get we didn't get to those. Um, actions and triggers in Groove Video yet. It is there, it is it is usable, but we didn't get into it like with both hands so that we, we changed those. But whatever you're mentioning on here is, is pretty cool. And I can immediately tell you some of the things that we worked on in Groove Video. Some of you guys that use Groove Video uh, recently have seen those changes already. But for those of you that didn't, I will show you some of the things that we worked on. So let me just open it over here, and then I'll show my show my screen. Okay, so over here, as you can see immediately in the in Groove Video, we have a new button which is here uh, showing categories. There will be a full on announcement from me uh, on on these changes, so uh, you'll have a you'll have a replay. But when you go into categories, you can create different categories like oranges, lemons, and things like that. So you can categorize your videos in those. Um, imagine, imagine it like folders, like you put in different videos in different folders. So whenever you are in the library, we changed the layout as well. We added on the, the length of the videos. You can preview the videos from here so that you know what the video is about. You can see when it was last updated and you can have all the functionality from here. We added on categorizations per uh, or filtering through categories, like you want to see only those videos that are in this category, uh, then you can do that one. Um, so this one means that there are no videos in that category. Um, if we have a look at the lemons, I believe I didn't put in any, but yeah, let me just show you how to put in some uh, some things in the in the category. So in case we go into the video, we can click the edit button. And then here you can see that the categories are, are lined up over here. So if we say oranges, we can click the save button. And now the actual oranges category should show this video on here. So which is quite handy, uh, because it's like different folders that you can go into if you have a different promos, like you work on on one funnel, or maybe one client's funnel, then you can put all of those videos into these different categories. Um, so that's pretty cool. Okay, we also have the last created these filtering options from from the last deployment. Um, what else? Yeah, so we worked on a UI a little bit. Uh, there were these these color pickers were moved a little bit. Uh, they were quite large and they were one below the other. Now we moved them a little bit on the, the side and made them a bit smaller. We added on also some of these extra color picker options that were not there uh, previously. So they go hand in hand with the with the with the color pickers that we have elsewhere on the on the on the platform. We also added <clears throat> extra functionality into our analytics. You can see now we have um, updated the analytics, which is which may may have been restarted for your uh, some users reported that some of their videos that were that were played they were are now showing zero plays and zero finishes and things like that. Uh, some of the videos were not reset, but that's just unfortunately uh, when we when we do an update like that, then it may change. Uh, where now you can um, you can filter things by by finishes, by impressions, total time washed, and so on. Um, so yeah, these are the tweaks, small tweaks, but they are going to make a big difference. For example, I I love these categorizations and these folders for Groove Video. So there's that. There's going to be an announcement on that one as well. 
Group member site or move uh, its content to a new group member site. I don't know what this is for. Is there a question from? There was a question from Duncan previously about the domain. Can I assume it's okay to point one of my main dom domain name to my new group member domain? Uh, then I mentioned that there are no options for group members to connect to the domain and then group member site or move its content to a new group member site. I don't know what this means and what this is for, Duncan. If you can actually um, ask a full question, um, I would probably be able to understand it then. Uh, apologies for unclear question. It seems it is possible for a member to click on the video if hosted on YouTube. If in group platform and they can uh, they can watch it in YouTube uh, out of group platform. Okay, so um, this is again tied into the the we we cannot remove the YouTube's uh, branding. If you actually added a video into into group video that is linked to YouTube, um, it is not it is not possible to actually remove any type of branding or functionality from a YouTube video because that's tinkering with their content and that goes against their terms of service. So um, yeah, I believe that's the only thing that I would do if I would host my, my videos on YouTube is to, to add them into a playlist and to embed them like real YouTube videos and not through Groove Video. That's what I would do at this moment in time. Um, that would allow you to to have also people subscribe to your YouTube channel through there, um, but see the videos as unlisted. This may be something that you don't want because um, people can actually click on a on a live video somewhere on YouTube and then maybe copy over the URL, um, which I understand. But then in that case, I would just play it in Groove Video. Like I would put just upload the videos into Groove Video, and and use that instead. Um, yeah, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, hello, David, can you please explain display options in Groove pages? Um, these are CSS styles. I'm not good with CSS. The only thing you need to know is, um, is basically the none, like to, to hide something on the, on the canvas. And that's basically it. If you if you want, you can play with it and you can explore a little bit more. Those CSS uh, CSS layout styles they are not important to be honest. If you if you're just a regular user of Groove Pages, you don't need any of those. And we are going to be changing and tweaking Groove Pages so that uh, so that you don't need to use any of those. Uh, we'll be changing everything to flex on the on the canvas so that everything moves um fluently on the canvas and you don't have to like choose different like block inline block and blah 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 you, there's no need to know all of this for for a regular user that is not techy like me i'm actually kind of techy but i just don't understand the css and these code um options um the only thing i use is um is none if I want to hide something on there, like a layout option, the none, the, the last one, uh, which are, we are also going to make clickable with an eye icon. Like if you click on the eye icon, then it will actually hide it, um, hide it on the canvas, so you will not see it on 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 certain devices, um, like different elements and different blocks and containers. You can hide using that none functionality, um, but the rest it's really not that important. So. Uh, you can look into it, but it's it's not something that you'll probably need to use. Um, where is the the code option in the up, in the top menu group? It's actually been removed because users were breaking their sites, and also there were issues with the security of the pages. The when when you when you have a source when you have the access to source code of the of an actual platform that may be good for some of your users but it's actually very bad because um, people can can put in different different codes which uh, cause security issues so we removed it because it was causing huge issues for support for the users they were refunds due to that functionality. And we agreed with the founders and the management and the devs that uh, we're going to try to add as many options 
that were used with the source code functionality without the actual source code functionality being there. So in case you were adding on different styling options, then you can request those options uh, to be added directly inside the builder without needing the source code. Um, also, the source code option was uh, was used for people to to copy over and blatantly just like clone people's sites, which is also against trademark issues, legal issues, like a lot of different issues were with that source code option, and we just don't want that anymore. Uh, people that created um, sites for clients got copied over and, uh, and reported that somebody just clones their site and things like that so we we decided to remove it because it was creating more issues than it was solving so if you had any functionality that you were using when the source code option was there you can freely request it on the feedback portal and then we are going to be adding uh, extra functionality in our builder to to allow that kind of options like for example the mail to and the tell uh, uh, like I don't know how they call it. Like the, when you when you were linking um, a button or something to a telephone number or a, or an email, so that when you click the button, it actually opens up the phone app on your on your mobile devices, or or it opens up an email client on your on your device um, that is going to be built in, and it's going to be a, a functionality within the within the next couple of days in the next. Uh, deployment for group pages for example that was one of the the requests why users were using the source code and and so on so in case you want something you can request it on the feedback portal we're going to try and build all of those uh, functionalities in that we uh, that we think need to be in there people were using it for all sorts of shady stuff and then we don't want that to happen anymore what is causing a problem when you say group uh, pay API key is missing in the settings? Does it mean that uh, it's still not being assigned to me or uh, did, it, did I not do something? Uh, group pay API is missing. Um, I don't know, Alan. That would need to be double checked with, uh, with the devs. If there is some sort of an API issue that is only something that the devs can look into, so please reach out to them and uh, see if they can actually sort it out for you. If this is happening for you, this may be happening for others as well. So um, <clears throat> sorry, please reach out to them so they can look into it. Um, Ivor, where in GrooveCard would I find how to insert sliders in a portfolio effect where all my products can be seen in their respective categories and the different elements? Let me just try and see if I can show it to you. Um, Groove cart page builder. We are on the home page, and here there are elements where media and there is a slider over here for different products. You don't have sliders. You have different product lists and categories lists. So for for showcasing your products, you can do it with a slider in a way that you you create these kind of background images and then you add on buttons like this uh, onto the slider. So the slider looks like this, and then it allows you to click in there. And set up different uh, images like items, which are going to be, um, which are going to be images with title, subtitle, and then you can also have a link in there. So uh, that's how you do it. So just in the elements, there is a media section slider. Nothing fancy. Uh, okay uh hi david and groove video that i embed the player on my page has a pink color on the progress bar control can i change that default color yeah drew just go into groove video edit the video and then you can change the primary and secondary colors i just showed that earlier where i was displaying the ah uh, yeah you mentioned it cancel the question you just covered the feature yes uh, Groove video is starting to look good and already seems very functional. Thanks for showing that. Yep. New features look great. Thank you. I figured out my Groove member naming challenge. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, how can I add GIFs on a Groove card page? A Groove card doesn't have yet um, the ability to host GIFs. <clears throat> I was I was requesting that one as well from the from the team. They said that they will be adding that on, but there is more. Um, 
higher priority task than, than allowing gifts. So if you want to see it, go on to the feedback portal, feedback.groovefunnels.com, and go into GrooveCart feature requests and request give functionality. Um, the more votes it has, the more up in the prior, the more higher in the priority it gets, and then uh, and then the devs can work on it. Are you having bugs on on your hover? I dealt with support. I can never get the hover to save. It works until you save, then it just goes away. Um, could be if you're experiencing it, please report it. Uh, if you actually reported it, then that's basically all you need to do. Um, it could be there is certain bugs that are showing up uh, more and more. From the last update, we are actually going and fixing mo many of them in the deployments uh, that are going to be coming uh, next week. Um, so just check back next week. Maybe this, this will be fixed as well. Uh, is there a recent video tutorial on butterfly marketing setup with all the changes in Groove? Uh, Rob, yes, there is. If you're a paid member, if you're an actual platinum member, you received access from uh, from Groove to uh, to a membership area where you see, I believe, six or seven different videos from Mike. And in in one of it's called uh, Mike Phil Sames Funnel Masterclass. You received access in case you're a platinum member. Just log into that membership area, and then you can see there is a, a butterfly marketing mini course, which is uh, guiding you through step by step on everything that you need to know about butterfly marketing. Uh, Mike goes in the first half of the video and shows uh, shows a strategy and the mindset, the thinking, how to connect all those pages and things like that. And in the second half, I actually build out a, a butterfly marketing system uh, on there on that video, so that uh, that you and the people that want to build out butterfly marketing systems can recreate it. So have a look. Go into your emails and search for Funnels Masterclass. Um, you should have your access details there. In case you cannot find it, just reach out to support so they can resend your credentials. Is there a way to overlay text on an image in the builder? I'm new. Um, I don't know what builder. We have quite a few builders. Like if you're talking about Groove Pages, which is for building your funnels and sites, there is um, overlay text on an image. Um, the image would need to be set up as a background of a container, and then you can put in different elements like text and buttons and icons and things like that. Um, let me just quickly show you. I don't really know what builder you're talking about, if it is Groove Cart or if it is Groove Member or if it is Groove Pages. Um, but I will show you in Groove Pages because I believe you're talking about that. Groove Pages is a platform, as I mentioned, for building out um, your sites and then funnels. but in case you would like to set up uh, an image, you can do it as a background image of the block, which is the the full width section normally on a on a set on a site, or you can also select the container, which is the container is this darker red section which is selected, which is not full width, but it's just keeping elements like a button or text or something inside. So my suggestion always is to set up an, an image as a background of the block. So in case you go to the block, you click this pencil icon and you scroll down a little bit until you see the background section over here. You can then choose an image. I will choose this super red colored apple background, okay, like this. And then you can also click on the color over here to select an overlay. And I love these kind of black colors just to set up an overlay. Then you can have something like this. And then you have a button on there, or you can have text on there, and you can have paragraphs and all sorts of things um, you can put because that is going to be within the container. And now we put the actual image in the full width section of the of the canvas or the web page, which is which is the block. So this is how you can do these certain things. Hopefully this helps. Um, can you have Groove video and embed it on Groove member? Yes. So you can just copy over the embed code from Groove video and you can add it on as an embed code, like a code, you pull in a code embed element onto the canvas in Groove member and just paste that, uh, that code in there. Any idea what will be the new Groove Pages app look? Um, yes, let me just try and find the video for you guys. It's going to be cool. 
I'll show you a short video replay about, about how it will be looking like. Okay, let me just start playing it. Okay, so let me see if you can see this. So this is uh, this was a meeting from from our team. As you can see, this is Groove Pages. This is the side. Oops, I'm not showing my screen. Sorry. Um, this is Groove Pages. This is going to be the sidebar. The video is a bit blurry, so I apologize for that. Um, here is the sidebar, and this is the actual canvas. And when we go and put in different things on the canvas, let me just see if it is loading. Here, it, this is how it's going to be looking like. So we'll have a plus icon, which you can add on different blocks and elements. We're going to have pages and pop-ups and funnels. And um, and then, yeah, these types of functionality. So I will, I will let the actual, um, there's a, a bit of talking in the background. So this is why it goes a bit strange. We'll have the theme styles to set up the, the like the page uh page layout and the the, the color swatches and the uh, and the uh, different um fonts and the uh, and the sizes for the heading one heading two heading three and so on um and things like that so it's going to be a pretty modern and it was going to be like here's an seo settings as well and all the page and the site settings will be will be available on the canvas within the builder there is no need to go to a different section and things like that so um, this is just a mock-up. It's a rough mock-up, but it's, it's it's a very, very good representation of how it will be looking like. Um, once you go on the canvas, you can click on different things, and everything that is important, everything that is going to be um, necessary as a, as a main change is going to show up here on the canvas as a, as a, as what we have right now for a text editor, um, like colors, positioning, uh, copy, trash can icon. If you need more functionality, you can click on these three dots there, and then it's going to allow you to do all sorts of stuff with it. Um, forms are going to be much easier managed when you click on the actual form. It's um, it's going to be just like a, there will be a little uh, integration icon where you can click and integrate with, with GrooveMail or an outside integration. Um, and things like that. So it's not going to be like um, complex as we have right now. Images, click on an image, resize it, choose a different image. All of that will be done on Canvas using your mouse. So uh, yeah, that's kind of it. We, let's see. So yeah, we added on a, on an extra element timer, for example. Let me show you how, it's, how it looks like when you when you add on different things. So you click the you click the plus plus icon below the element so you can actually add on more things in one column and then it, this will show up so you can click on different things. Um, so yeah, that's there's that. Let me see if there's anything else that I. Uh, okay there was a a lot of uh, on our meetings we talk a lot about how it, from the technical side of things how that could work um so yeah i believe that's the actual demo um but yeah hopefully that gives you an understanding of what is coming to to groove as a groove pages platform um we have added on a lot of functionality already and we have a lot of lot of power to the builder but at this moment we just need to organize it and make it simple to use simple to understand for everybody and i believe that this what i just showed you is going to allow uh, this simplistic simplistic feel and, and and loss of overwhelm so you will just go in there click on different things that you need you will just drag things out position them as you want and it's going to be a done deal so um we have most of the functionality that is needed for that one we are uh, we're going to be um, adding on certain functionality of course but what i just showed you most of it we already have is just like organizing it in the in a more understandable and more easy 
manner uh, that is going to be uh, going to be a big change for everybody to use. So, can you save colors yet? Not yet. Uh, I just showed you that this is planned, but there is no like ETA on it. Not sure why I can why I can receive your sessions on my phone, but I cannot see it on Facebook on my computer. I went to Groove CM official on Facebook, but your session does not show up. Yeah, F Facebook was buggy very very often. Um, when I was trying to, like, in the last couple of times, today there were no issues with it, knock on wood, but there were uh, there were issues in the past four times when I started the live stream, Facebook just didn't show it. So I had to delete it and then restart it again so that it shows up. For some reason, it just doesn't work. Like, Facebook, believe it or not, is super, super, super buggy. So um, there's that. I created an exit pop, but whenever I wanted to save an exit, it was saying the pages has already exist. It wasn't saving. Um, yes, there is a there is a uh, there is a change coming to this one. We found the uh, the cause of this bug, and we are we we created a fix for it already. It's going. It's getting tested right now, and in the next week we are going to deploy it so that uh, that this doesn't happen anymore. Lana Fox told me that I can have a join page at a sale price and then have a scarcity timer that sends you to a new page with regular price when clock goes to zero and the old join page lose the cookie so you can't go back to that can you show me how you would set that up not clear how you set it up i can have a join page at the sale price and then have a scarcity timer that sends you to a new page with a regular price when the clock goes to zero and the old page loses the cookie, so you can go back to that. I don't know what do you mean by loses the cookie. Like, this is just done with a simple uh, countdown timer. If you go and add on a countdown timer on the on the page, or just use a, a block with a countdown um, countdown timers here, for example, this one. You can set up the countdown timer to have a, a better functionality and a, and a stronger reason to be on the page other than just the count time. You can you can click on the countdown element over here, and then you can you can set up a configure to do different things. When the countdown reaches zero, go to a page, go to a URL. Most probably, this is the thing that you need. So if you go to a page, you select the actual page that you want to send people to, or you go to a URL, and then you send them. Let's just copy over the Facebook page on here. Um, and then that's it. So you can also have from landing or, or daily, uh, whatever you choose. And then when you update, this actual page will immediately redirect over when it reaches zero. So that's... That's basically it. you can have it for you can have it fixed so it is going to count down to that day and then whenever somebody else tries to come they will immediately get redirected over to this link if they if they come um, after the countdown timer has passed so there's that I don't know about the cookie I don't understand uh, what the cookie means there is no cookies on there because is that um, oh yeah maybe from landing when you land on a page it actually actually understands your IP address and and it it it, it knows that you already landed on that page already so maybe that was uh, like going to the countdown timer functionalities and then you can you can set that for yourself How do I integrate Slingly into GrooveCart? Um, it's you go into Slingly. There is an uh, there is a key that you need to copy over. You paste that into GrooveCart. You go to GrooveCart um, products, POD, and dropshipping, and there you activate Slingly. You copy that piece of code into uh, into GrooveCart, and then you have it you have it working together. It's very very simple. Um, you can just log in just. Log into Slingly, log into GrooveCart, go into products, print on demand and dropshipping, click on Slingly, turn it on, and then there will be a, a field where you need to copy a code. Go into Slingly on your screen, copy that code, paste it in, and then you're done. 
Um, can you save color? Okay, I answered that one. Found it down. It's not at the top. I'm okay now. Uh, I don't know what this is related to. Aha, uh -huh, okay. This is the, the Facebook uh, that is not showing up. But yeah, Facebook was pretty pretty hard to 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 find things on a on a very busy uh group like ours uh is there a way to have one quarter size three uh, fourth size with a box um i know you can do it as a block like small pick and large text size um if you want to resize the containers by yourself that's not something i suggest um the reason is because it is not going to be stacking nicely on the on the smaller screens. Um, with a new with a new version of Groove Pages that I showed you that is going to be worked on, in there we'll have flex boxes, and flex boxes allow you to actually drag uh, drag the size of the container, and the content in those in those containers will be resizing and merging to like as it should. Uh, like it will understand that this is one of the borders. This is the second border of the of the container. And if you if you just push it towards the middle, it will actually um, push the content to be more of a vertical than than a horizontal style. So at this moment, don't do like like um, resizing of containers. Just use the pre-made blocks until we get to that flex. Um, Flexbox technology. Uh, until then, it's going to be hard to manage uh, the stacking and, and how it actually looks on a smaller screens. What is the progress of Groove Webinar? When will it? When will it be live? Groove Webinar automated is. Uh, we did a, a demo of it. Is going nicely. Um, the team is is doing some uh, some changes from the from the demo that we we had for the for the like internal demo um and then donna and mike and and the other uh, team members that actually developed ever webinar um they they came in and they they uh, requested the features that they always wanted to have in ever webinar but it was just never added and with the new technologies that are uh, that are available today on the market we we wanted to have more and better things than what any other webinar platform is is having um you can see the date on the timeline it, if you go to to the rollout schedule timeline so groovefunnels.com for slash infographic you can see the date there with a new page builder uh do all sizes simultaneously uh, like i believe you're talking about the changes uh, for all sizes this is going to come with a flex box thing but yes yes it should Will we be getting more funds in Groove? Um, I don't know about this one. There were requests for for Google Fonts, and we will have more functionality with with different Google Fonts. But I don't know what you mean by it. Like uploading your own fonts. That's a, that's a feature that is that is probably going to be done. But like in the future, at this moment, uh, we have. I believe a hundred or or more than a hundred fonts that you can use, and at this moment in time, in Groove Pages, we are not looking to to add on more fonts uh, than what we have right now. Um, for other apps, like for example, Groove Blog, you can have three fonts there definitely, but in Groove Pages, I don't think so. Um, like I don't think so at this moment. In the future, most probably. Where would I find best video training on Groove Card for SEO? Um, Groove cart and SEO is is not um, there's not a lot of things that you can do for SEO. The only thing that you can do is make sure that your your uh, metadata is filled out and this is done on each and every product. Um, what else? And in the page builder, whenever you are working on the builder, each and every page can have its own own metadata and the, and the page title and the and the keywords and things like that so there's not much of seo that you need to do on the actual pay content uh like on the actual canvas of your pages make sure that you have nicely structured h1 h2 h3 and so on you can use keywords very often on the on the pages uh, but from the setting side of things, it's just the metadata to add on on each and every page and also in each and every product. So that's basically it. There is no video for SEO on GrooveCard. 
Uh, can I integrate Zapier to GrooveFunnels to collect list leads? Uh, not yet, not yet. That's going to come. Uh, or uh, yeah, basically you can, but only in Groove pages right now. What I wanted to say is we are adding in Groove, uh, Groove selling, Groove mail will also have integration with, with Zapier. That's going to allow you much many more things. Uh, much many many more things than what we have right now but at this moment you can just use uh groove pages and zapier integration that's already done yeah i created a button on groove cart and decreased the transparency so i could see the image underneath better it worked on the edit screen but when i saved it it looked uh and looked at the view of the final screen it did not work thoughts i don't have any thoughts i would need to see how it works so um if you created a a loom video for it alan i would be able to to see what what was happening and if you could just show how it looks in the builder and show how it looks in the in a published version of the page and that would that would help us a lot um as a free groove member can i get groove funnel affiliate commissions if i promote groove funnels uh yes yes so there is a lot of members that actually started like that so they started uh they started with a free account and they started uh, developing their uh, their funnels and they created um, created affiliate funnels to promote Groove and at the end they made back the investment uh, or they made enough money to purchase the actual platinum uh, platinum version of Groove so this allowed them to upgrade and instantly get bumped uh, to double the commissions that they were earning so far so yeah that's a great way to go about it. Can I come uh, groove page in Hindi language? Okay, so we don't have we don't have extra languages other than Portuguese and English right now in Groove. So in case you would like to use Hindi or other languages, we don't uh, we don't have these languages built in. Is there a way to move text in a container in just a, uh, instead of just being able to have it to the left, middle, or right in Groove card? There is uh, there's a four arrow icon on the top right, but this will not allow me to drag it. Where would you like to move the text to? You have like when you think about about a web page, you have a web page like the the whole page which is which is long and you have different elements that you that you put in most of the times they are coming in a, in different sections which are which are just like puzzles um if you want to have something in here then you would probably need to create a multi column section and then add it in the in the and the fourth section or the third sections bottom right hand and side corner or something like that so think about uh, think about the page in terms of uh, one block and then different sections different horizontal sections on that on that page each and every section can be can be uh, can be styled into multiple different columns so you can have one section let's just call it the one block can have multiple different columns so that you position not things not on the top left but in the bottom right so things like that but but think of a section think, think of a page as something that is uh, that is not flexible like in and i don't know in paint so that you can paint something in here and then move up here and then you paint something in here um there needs to be a, a structure to it and then most of these uh, builders work in in bootstrap and in and, and flex boxes and things like that which position content uh, like styled nicely in different unvisible sections of the page or invisible the text is blocking my image and i wanted to move it over uh, about an inch use the spacing there is a spacing thing is that you can use in order to position uh, things top bottom left or right wherever you would like okay cool ladies and gentlemen that's an hour and 30 minutes so i believe we answered a lot of questions for today um i hope i managed to help you with some of the things um quite a lot of things i mentioned today to reach out either on the feedback portal to to create a request for it and request it there or to reach out to support so they can look into it the reason for reason why i'm doing this because um 
there are things that are not added yet into our system that can be added and then can be also prioritized. Those things go to the feedback portal. In case you found a bug or something that that is causing issues within the like how you work with the builder, please report it to our support. If you think that this is a bug that is uh, that is not affecting how you work, but that will that should be should be fixed, then re, then um, post a bug report on the feedback portal as well. Uh, this is how how we work. Unfortunately, this is this is kind of a um, um, like a flow of how things are, are getting done. Slowly and slowly, we are making this platform to be the best. As you saw, some of the updates that we are we already added on, some of the future things that we will be adding on, and we're slowly getting to the point where it's going to be it's going to be just the best platform out there. And I can I can easily say I used a lot of software. It's a big lifetime junkie with these softwares, and and to the speed uh, that we are developing things, the, the the way our Groove Machine functions is just much more well oiled than any other software that I that I I participated in. It's true that there is still a lot of bugs, but it's just like get, they are getting hammered out very quickly. Groove Pages at this moment is the is the the ugly duckling that has uh, the most bugs, but I have no reason to worry um i know our team and i know the people out there and they are managing it and like cranking out those fixes with the speed of light so um if you are thinking about something like that that this would this be a, a great decision or or not like don't look at it as it is right now it may be a bit rough just because we created some infrastructure changes which are bringing us to the direction of, of the builder I showed you. Um, but it's going to be much, much better when, when we actually worked on all of these things that we planned out. So, um, yeah, you saw what's coming. Now you can rest sure that it's, it's going to be the best. Um, Cool. There is uh, one more question on here. Any suggestion what subdomain you would create on your own domain to use for the affiliate program? Just use get, get dot groove something dot com, or it just depends. Create a subdomain that that uh, that sounds sounds nice when you actually say it out loud. For example, if you have a um. I don't know if you have a domain which is like groovewithrub.com, then think about something that comes before, like I want, uh, like or I'd love to. Dot groovewithrub.com or something like that. Just make it fun, make it easily uh, remembered, so that people can go back to it again and again. Um, are the sessions done at this time every Friday? Yes, every Friday and Tuesday. They, if you go to groovefunnels.com forward slash calendar, you can have a look at it. We need to just tweak the, the times because we had uh, uh, the daylight uh, time saved. The, uh, China, the, 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 the time zones uh, were basically America had a daylight savings time previously, and then we had it in Europe, so the times are not correct yet but we we need to tweak those but yes at 6 p.m central european time every tuesday and friday so there's that uh ladies and gentlemen thank you very much uh, duncan is excited for the updates uh me too me as well so thank you very much for being here hopefully you learned something in case you need any other assistance feel free to uh request it from the from the group or if this is a technical uh question go to our support it will be uh, happy to help there as well. So with that note, thank you very much for being here and hopefully see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.